Don, the current financial hotspot in the CFL is in Ottawa, where the Rough Riders went to the city for help yesterday. At halftime and inside the CFL, we'll be joined by Rider General Manager Joanne Polak, live via satellite from Ottawa. And here at the Sky Dome, we'll be joined live by the newest Argonaut, Mike Pinball Clements. You're watching Foster's CFL on CBC, live from Toronto Sky. Edmonton Eskimos will be kicking off to the Toronto Argonauts. And we'll get our first look at the newest addition to the Argo roster, number 31, the man they call Pinball, Mike Clemens. They say he's 5'6", and standing beside him down on the sidelines, I would think he'd have to be on tippy toes to hit 5'6". Park kicking off for the Eskimos, and Clemens, who specializes in punt returns and kickoff returns, brings it back. He fumbles the football, and the Eskimos have recovered, but he had the fans on their feet on the opening kickoff return, somewhat reminiscent of the man who starred in that same capacity for the Edmonton Eskimos, Henry the Gizmo Williams. John Congemi was prepared to head onto the playing field on that excellent return by Mike Clemens, but he fumbled the ball at the 48-yard line of the Eskimos and Brian Walling recovered. This is going to be a field goal attempt of 54 yards by Jerry Corrick. He'll kick out of the hold of Rick Warman. Just one man back, and that is Clemens. The kick is short and wide. have a new hero in dominion of Mike Clemens, the man they've nicknamed Pinball. Field goal attempt by Cork. It's wide, picked up in the end zone by Clemens. Gets a block from Brazley. He was stumbling. Had he been able to maintain his balance, he had a wide open Right side of that field all the way to the end zone. 11-29 remains in the half. He never wore them all during his college career at Georgia Southern. And Coach Farragelli said he's going to wear them now in professional football. What will this man do? The pinball. He has the ability to light things up, but not this time, with six minutes remaining in the half. The good news is it was not an injury that kept Mike Pinball Clemens from joining us and in inside the CFL at halftime. It was a shoe problem, which has now been rectified. This game was only seconds old when the pinball had the Sky Dome crowd on its feet with a, a spectacular kickoff return on the game's opening kickoff. He did fumble, but we saw the pinball effect. Uh, the name pinball is appropriate. Do you agree? Well, whatever fits. Um, you know, we're just out here to really play ball. These guys are real tough, real tough competition. They've been playing well. We've gotten a break so far and hope it continues. Quickly, they list you as 5'6". Are you that tall? Not really. 5'5", five, 5'4 five, <laughs> five, and a half. 5'5 five, five and a half on a good day. Thanks, Mike. Good luck in the CFL. Don? Well, if he continues to run the way he did in that first half, he will be around the CFL for a while. This is a much better punt by Jerry Corrick. Clemens takes it. Penalty flag goes down. Corrick saves a touchdown. But it's going to be brought back. A 70-yard return. I'll tell you one thing, Bob Obilovich has to be delighted in what he has seen from Mike Clemens, the man they call Pinball. Illegal block, Toronto number 26, first down. Wiseman was guilty of that illegal block. 
But Clemens is going to generate some excitement if he continues this. Well, the big thing about it is that Bob Obilovich said his kicking game, he was losing yards every week. Their return yards were going down. They had plans for Pernell Moore to do it, but he had the injury. So therefore, they put him into the lineup, and as you say, he creates some excitement when he gets his hands on the foot. These two teams meet again on the CFL on CBC television a week tonight at Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton. We hope you'll be joining us for that one. The Argonauts leading by a score of 7-3. And with a kick returner such as Mike Clemens, they are asking the Edmonton Eskimos to kick off following that field goal. John Conjemi in a starting role has done a pretty good job. He's done a good job in particular of reading that Edmonton Eskimo defense. And getting rid of it. Like on that particular play when Jeff Boyd was explaining over there, that play is designed for a man-to-man -man defense. They read the zone. They have to adjust their routes. He threw it to the right person. He just threw it too high. That's okay. I'm just getting it underneath. Morris and Clemens are back. And Clemens will get an opportunity again to return, and you hear a buzz of anticipation go through the crowd. Another penalty fly. Same guy, Wiseman. Wiseman again is guilty of hitting a tackler in the back. And that wipes out another fine return by Clemens. This one up 25 yards. Clemens is the lone man back. This is the best kick of the night by Jerry Corrick. Clemens is extremely quick. He gets it back to the 37. You're watching Foster CFL on CBC live from the Sky Dome. You have an interesting theory about the defensive backs hitting those receivers at the line of scrimmage. In the Canadian Football League, with all that movement, why do the receivers allow themselves to be hit? I don't know. You're allowed to go in motion. I don't know why they stand there and let them hit them. Use this field to your advantage. Every step you take in motion, they got to get off of you, and you'll get off free. High punt by Corrick. That was not coming down. Clemens bouncing his way into open territory. He is going to be a threat every time he handles a kick. Corrick's kick hangs high. Clemens trying to take it on the run on the sidelines. He is out of room. You got him in the hole. Let's go. This is Foster's CFL on CBC.